Hello and welcome to Lenovo Unboxed. This is Gavin, as always, with my good friend. Gavin. Kevin. <laughs> Robot Kevin today. You never can remember that. No, I, I just I stutter sometimes on your name. It's good to see you, Kev. How you doing? Good. We're, uh, we're here today uh, to unbox um, <laughs> the Lenovo Mix. This is a 10-inch yeah. convertible. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know by now, um, mm -hmm. it's we're living in a PC Plus era. It's no longer enough to just have a laptop. It's no longer certainly okay to just have a tablet. But having a laptop that can that yeah. can be like a tablet or vice versa, Kev, is Best the of ticket, both worlds. right? Best yeah, of yeah. both worlds. Yeah. So, so where do we mm -hmm. start with Mix? Okay, so I have my uh, you know standard unboxing tools. So we'll do these. Please don't cut the product. ceremonial uh, magic wand unboxing there. Awesome. Um, so. I think the simplest thing that I can say about this is that there are certainly people who are going to need a laptop, right? There are some people who are just going to look for a laptop. They have a price in mind. They have a feature function set in mind, and that's what they're going to buy because they're never going to use a touchscreen. And then there are some people who are only going to use a tablet for, you know, classic consumption. They're going to watch movies. They're going to watch videos. They're going to do email, Facebook, whatever. And they only need a tablet. But but they're not going to do the hard work or write their next novel or anything right, like right. that. Right, right. You know, you can type up to a point on a flat screen tablet. But there comes a point, in my opinion, and obviously in the opinion of the folks who made this, uh, that you need a keyboard for some things. So hence the mix. Right, right. So, uh, you know, again, if you follow the plot with Lenovo, yep. you know by now, mm -hmm. we've got Yoga, which yep. has the 360 degree hinge, yep. right? Yep. Um, we've got Helix, which is a, a premium business oriented right. device, part, yep. multiple modes, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, but then one of the ones that's under the radar sometimes, yep. ThinkPad Tablet 2. Yep. Um, how this seems most like the ThinkPad yep, Tablet too, but there are some clear differences as right. well. Right? Absolutely, the that. closest uh, uh, comparison we can make to an existing product that we have is the ThinkPad Tablet Two. So a lot of similarities: 10.1 inch screen, 1366 by 768 resolution, IPS screen, great viewing angles, all these things. But if you're a business user or maybe a certain type of user with additional needs. There are things about Tablet 2 that are going to be appealing to you. Mm -hmm. uh, some things like security chip. It's got a pen for drawing on the screen. It's got an external dock that you can plug an Ethernet cable into if you need to do things okay. like imaging. You know, so there's stuff wonky, like that. Wonky yet important business things. Right? Yeah, and if you need those things, you know you need them. Okay. But if you don't, then you know Mix is probably the right product so for you. So this is a little more stripped down, so yep. none of the none of the big the big large enterprise sort of business features, right? Right, right. If you, need, if, if you want to buy 100 of them in 20 different different countries at the same time in the same week with the same part number, think about Tablet 2. Okay. If you're going to buy one, well, maybe, you know, sure. make your own choice, but this is probably more the product for you. Good. And let's go back to the display for yep. a minute because I think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's one of the things yep. that's kind of been standing out for yep. me about some of our products. Mm -hmm. I tell people what IPS means because we've got some mm -hmm. we've got some nerds who know darn well. Right. But for me, it took me a while to figure out the whole mm -hmm. viewing angle thing, right? Okay. So... Uh, to avoid giving a treatise on different screen technologies. Uh, there are a whole bunch of other things that are traditionally used in laptops and some tablets that don't have um, good, what is known as off-axis viewing angle. And by that, I mean, let me spin this around. You folks will be able to see this. So you're looking straight at that, right? Sure. So IPS has, in this case, an 85 degree off-axis off viewing angle. So look, as I, I turn this- say awesome access. Well, could, could be. be a cool um, but you see, as I turn this around, as I'm getting closer and closer mm -hmm. to 90 degrees from your eyes, notice the color isn't really falling off. It's not getting any dimmer, Yep. right? And I'll do the same thing for the camera here, Yeah. right? As I turn this around, look at the lack of color shift, the lack of dimness as I turn this around. So it looks darn good from mm -hmm. wide angles. So if you're if you're watching a movie with a few people, right. even sitting on the plane, watching right. a movie or something, and you're in the next seat, that might help you. Right, well, if it's a laptop and you you have complete control and you're only going to view it at one angle, you know, there are cases you might need IPS, but if you don't, you can live with it. Mm -hmm. But if it's a tablet and you're picking it up and you're turning it this way, that way, showing it to somebody, you need good off-axis viewing angles, sure. hence IPS. Sure. Right? Um, and let's talk about the processor. I think you, yep. you may have mentioned it, but it's a, it's an Intel Atom processor, right? it's right? an Intel uh, Atom uh, Clover Trail dual core, the Z2760. Uh, two gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage. We'll go around the ports later, but this has a uh, uh, SD card slot, or I believe a uh, um, micro SD card slot, so you can add another 32, right? So you can get 96 uh, gigs of storage on this. So okay. a lot of room for music, movies, TV shows, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that raises a good point. Again, we like to try to mm -hmm. tell you in these videos who is this for, and mm -hmm. really there's a broad range of uses. You guys know by now what tablets are for, right? Mm -hmm. Again, you're not going to mm -hmm. write any long-form documents on this thing, right. um, but um, you do have the optional keyboard case here, the folio case, which helps. But more than anything, you're, mm -hmm. you're consuming rather than creating content, right, Yeah, Kev? absolutely. Um, we've got, you know, as Gavin said, pointed out, a lot of other tablets that are great content consumption devices, mm -hmm. right? Android-based uh, tablets that if you're just going to 
to watch TV shows, uh, movies, music, whatever. It's great. But this is Windows 8 based, right? right? So, And it's full Windows 8. It's not Windows RT. So you can install every application that you can install on a normal laptop on this. You can install Office, right? You can actually get some work done and get it all, you know, in a 580 gram. What is that in pounds? You looked it up. I was just going to do that in my head. <laughs> Give me time. Yeah, 580 gram right. weight. So you've got, uh, you know, a, a, a package here that gives you everything that you would want out of a tablet, sort of plus a little more. The ability to do some work even when sure. you need to. And we're obviously selling quite a few mm -hmm. Windows 8 laptops at this point, touch yeah. and non-touch. But this, to me, is a great a great usage of, of Windows 8. You've yeah. got access to all the apps in the Windows App yep. Store. And again, if you are doing, if you're going mm -hmm. into your PowerPoint or something like that, you can do some light typing on here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, great, you know, companion device, as they say. Yep. Right? Good. So let me uh, just quickly. So this is the keyboard. Uh, this speaks to the whole flexibility thing we were talking about, that this is the keyboard. Uh, let me get back to Windows here. You're going to come around the side, show yep. the people? Uh, let me pop it out of the case here. So this is the keyboard case, is what I'm trying to say. Sure, so we'll give it. you a, a view of that, right? So you've got a case here. Uh, perhaps sort of show this when it was uh, in there. But you just pull this up. There's a little magnet. Oops, that keeps that in, in place. And then you can fold it down. You've got a nice carrying case. Show them the pins there too, Kevin. Right. I thought that was kind of cool mm -hmm. where it catches it basically. Right. So you've got a docking mechanism here that docks the keyboard in and you can hear the nice little window sound when you click it in. It, yeah. ding, 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 yeah. it says, I've got a keyboard now. It's very cheerful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So let's close that down and slide it over here. All right. Um, so like I said, you've got a slim, light, full function computing device here, right? Windows 8. I think most people are familiar with that now. Uh, do our sort of obligatory around the horn. Volume up and down. SIM card, micro SD, micro HDMI, power plug, docking port, uh, nothing on that side. And then on the top here, we've got our power button and our uh, combo port for uh, headphones and uh, microphone. That's what okay. those things are called. Yep, the combo jack. Yep. And uh, and uh, tell me how thin it is again. It's 10.1 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Okay. 10.1 inch screen, 10.1 millimeters thick. Wow, Pretty we should have called it the 10.1, don't you think? <laughs> Instead of the mix. By the way, mix has an extra I in it. I don't know if you guys noticed that, mm. mix. So we were going to call this an unboxing and spell unboxing with two I's in there. So it's a mix. Yeah, yeah, okay. mix. I don't know why. We'll ask the product guys if we can and get back All to right. you, uh, maybe tell you on Facebook right. or something. Yeah. Um, so Kev, what else to uh, to tell the people here about, about the mix before we sign off? Um, no, I think just to re reiterate, if I can speak English, what we said before, um, there's... You know, a range of devices for a range of, of uses, mm -hmm. right? If you're just going to watch videos and do a little email, then maybe a pure tablet's good for you. Sure. If you need, like, full-on Core i5, Core i7 horsepower for whatever you're going to do, then, you know, we've got things all the way up to the Helix. Sure. But if uh, what you need is a solid device uh, that's small, thin, light that you can carry around, but you can also add a keyboard to and potentially use like a laptop, then, you know, that's really where sure. Mix is targeted. And as always, we're you know we're committed to giving mm -hmm. people a lot of options, be it laptop, tablet, or mm -hmm. convertible. Yep. Um, and in a number of price ranges, it's worth noting that this one I don't know the exact starting price, mm -hmm. and you have to check in your own country. But um, this thing is very competitively priced, especially for Windows 8 tablets. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's something that should slot in nicely yep. in our portfolio. So and good battery life. Forgot to mention that ten hours plus of battery life. Yep. 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 Very important. Um, again, if you're on the plane, if you're on on a trip or anything like that. So. Yep. All right. Uh, that is the Lenovo Mix, and uh, we hope you enjoyed our latest edition of Lenovo Unboxed. Thanks, Gavin. All right, thank you. Take care.